Hi, my name is Chef Aarti, and I'm here with you. We're going to talk about delicious fruits back from my hometown, Mumbai, India. When I think of delicious, fresh fruit, it always takes me back to my childhood and growing up with really beautiful, bountiful fruit. So today we are going to do a simple delicious fruit salad and also do a taste. And I don't want you to be intimidated when you come and visit India. First off, I want to show off one of my favorite fruits, the Elki banana. But don't be fooled by their size. These are very tiny, but they're so condensed in banana flavor. They're very delicious, really good for you, absolutely organic, rich in potassium, rich in a lot of uh, carbohydrates, so really good for you. I'm just gonna dice them. And a close cousin to the banana is the plantain. These are ripe. You also find them uh, that are not ripe and they, you could saute them, you could cook with them. And these are super delicious as chips or you could just eat them just as the way they are. These can be a little harder to peel. So I cut off the ends, run my knife through the middle, just making an incision through the skin. And there, pretty simple. And I'll do the same with these. Thick slices and cut them down the middle. My mom's favorite fruit is the custard apple, also called Sita Fal. It might look scary to you, but it's really easy to enjoy them. All you do is crack them open, and if it's really soft, it'll just break open super easy. Stick a spoon in, and it literally tastes like custard. Mmm. It does have a lot of seeds, so you have to watch out. Another Mumbai favorite is the sapota or the chiku. Sapotas, these can obviously be eaten with skin on, but I like to peel them. Use a vegetable peeler or a sharp paring knife. Snip off the ends, cut right through the middle, then just take off the large seeds. Just gonna do large dice on them. It's super soft, tender, almost like a mix between a peach and a cantaloupe. I always think of guavas when I'm back in the States. I love them greener than these, but even when they're slightly yellow and ripe, I like them too. They do have a lot of seeds, but they're super simple to eat. You take off the top and the bottom, cut right through, and you can bite into it. For a salad, I do like to take the seeds off. You can absolutely eat them, but you don't want to break someone's tooth when you're doing a, a salad. So I like to peel that off and then dice them again. Here you go. A little bit of lime, chili powder, and some salt. It's so delicious. Takes me back to my memories from school. Now let's talk a little bit about citrus. Sweet limes, you find them anywhere but Southeast Asia. They are sort of like limes. They taste like limes, but they're sweet. They're so good when you have the flu or you have a cold. This is what my mom gave me when I was a kid. We would have a glass full and feel better. I really love the taste of them. These are super sweet. Can't believe it, right? Can you guess what fruit this is? These are oranges, yes. They're green, but they're orange and they are super sweet. The best way to peel these, stick a thumb in, pull the skin off. It's that simple. Sort of like you would eat your cuties. Pretty much the same. Nagpur is the city which has the best, sweetest oranges and that's where they usually come from for the rest of the country. The way I like to use oranges is just 
sort of make sure there are no seeds take the seed off cut in half my mouth just salivates when I think of these and I'm definitely gonna pop one in my mouth mmm delicious I'm very sure we're familiar with pineapple but I'll go through with a couple of tips how do you know if your pineapple is ripe pull one of the leaves and if it comes off easily then it's ripe this one's not so I'm gonna try the other one oh wow I guess they're not yeah, it does smell sweet and that's when you know if a pineapple is ripe. We are going to cut through this. How do you cut a pineapple? Just turn off the top. You can actually grow this and then snip off the top and the bottom and just shave and you keep shaving right at the edge. There's always a little wastage in pineapple if you want to eat the best part of the fruit. You can eat the core of the pineapple. However, it is definitely very woody and not great when you're making a fruit salad, but it's all right if you're gonna juice it. I like to cut off all the eyes because you really don't want that interfering when you're making your salad. I cut the pineapple right through the middle and then you see this woody part in the middle. I like to cut that off as well. You can definitely snack on it. Now that I have a perfect piece of pineapple, I'm going to just dice it up and add to my salad. The best way to tell if a papaya is ripe is to press with a finger and if your finger makes a slight indentation you know that it is ripe and it's delicious and sweet. Again papayas are very tropical fruit they are super creamy they have this fragrance that you either hate or you either love. I, for the longest time I didn't like them but now I do. I like to use the vegetable peeler to peel that exterior, but you could also use a sharp paring knife. All right, so while cutting a papaya, you again snip off the ends. And then cut right in the middle. And you have a bunch of seeds. Wow, this doesn't have any. For salad, I like to peel off the membrane that it's inside. It's absolutely safe to eat, but they do get all mushy, so I don't like them. And then do a nice dice again. A close cousin to the grapefruit, the pomelo, or we call it papanas. This is definitely not as bitter as the grapefruit, can be very sweet and we often make candy with this. So we're going to use that in our salad as well. Don't be intimidated. All you have to do is peel off that exterior. So snip both ends and then just follow the fruit. Let your knife follow the shape of the fruit. Anytime you want to cut citrus, your knife has to be super sharp. And clean off some of the bitter pith and it's ready to eat. You can slice them if you're okay with a little bit of the pith, but if you're like me, I just want to eat the best part, which is the Supremes. This is what I do. Pomegranates, although look intimidating, they're not really as bad to cut. I like making incisions like this, four of them. 
so like four quarters cut off both ends rip them open and then you see these beautiful seeds we're using a little Kashmiri chili powder Himalayan salt just a pinch and the sweet limes that we had earlier I'm going to do a good squeeze of that and some fresh mint leaves just a handful of them and give it a good mix since our fruit is already sweet we don't have to sweeten it but if you would like you could use a little palm sugar or honey but I love it just the way this is be gentle with your fruit because they're all ripe you don't want to smush them all and there you have it an Indian fruit salad So I'm ready to taste my salad. I've been thinking about it all day, so I finally can dig my teeth into this. I'm trying to get a piece of each and every fruit. There you go. Oh. That mint adds a lot of freshness. The sweet lime has a perfect acidity. It's not too sour and I can taste every fruit in its absolute beautiful form. I hope you try the salad and the next time you come to India and you try tropical fruits wherever you are, they're not as intimidating and they are super delicious and good for you. So this was my version of fruit salad and if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to Chef Aarti Sampath. See you soon.